citizens of St. Martin. St. Martin is now officially under hurricane warning. Schools will be closed from Tuesday morning until further notice. A curfew will be in place on Tuesday evening from 8 p.m. From Monday morning, 11 a.m., St. Martin was officially under a hurricane warning. That means that hurricane conditions are expected within our area. This warning is usually issued 36 hours before the anticipated first occurrences of tropical storm force winds, condition that make outside preparations difficult or very dangerous. Preparations to protect life and property should now be rushed to completion. Schools closed again. Officially, schools are closed from Tuesday, September 5th until further notice. Government offices are also closed from Tuesday, September 5th until further notice. However, emergency services will operate as normal. Essential services will operate as they prepare for the arrival and passage of Hurricane Irma. As far as business closures, it is mandatory that all businesses, including casinos, whether in a hotel property or standalone, close at 12 noon on Tuesday afternoon. With the exception of supermarkets, hardware stores, restaurants, pharmacies, gas stations, and bakeries, these will be allowed to remain open until 5 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon. The reason is that they provide essential services and products in preparation for the hurricane. Only restaurants and hotel properties are allowed to remain open after 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Hotels are, however, advised to make arrangements for staff to remain as much as possible on property. A curfew will be in effect, as stated before, as of 8 p.m. on Tuesday, September 5th, until the passing of hurricane and the damage assessment has been completed, everybody should be off the road on Tuesday by 8 p.m., and this will be strictly enforced. The EOC will meet again on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. after the passing of the hurricane to assess the situation and decide about the curfew. The EOC will be meeting on Tuesday morning to assess the latest information about Hurricane Irma, and I will be making a national address on Tuesday afternoon at 2 p.m., and that will be my final broadcast before the passing of the hurricane. <laughs>